All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to maintain your Glock 19. So I'm just gonna put this out of the side. You wanna make sure it's empty. It is. Remove the magazine. Remove the slide by holding these two down and remo uh, remove the, the release the slide catch. There you go. Easy thing to do. We're only gonna do the uh, <clears throat> the slide part. I mean, we're gonna do this, but I'm not gonna take it out. All right, you wanna remove the spring. As you can see, it's it's stuck. I usually just turn, and then it will come off like that. So we got our spring. Let's put it on the side. Got your little piece of plastic here. Remove your barrel. <clears throat> And you have your slide. I'm gonna remove this. So you need a, s a screwdriver for that. Lucky we have that. Alrighty. If that's loose. Can remove that piece with the back plate too. Um, your sight will slide right off, and you can pull it out like that. And then look out for this side piece because that will fall out. Now you got an empty barrel, so now you just want to clean it up, basically. Remove all the old grease. As you can see, that's pretty dirty. All right, this slide is pretty clean. I'm gonna move up to this part. As you can see, there's a spring here. You can just uh, get that off like that. There's a screw here, but you don't want to make that loose. All right, carefully clean this without breaking the spring or the screw. Clean all that old grease off. All right, so these parts are clean. I usually like to clean this part too. Oh, that's new. So this is stuck now to this plate. The older versions, you, this is loose from this part. Or is it not? Yeah, uh, yeah it is. Oh, that's cool. I like to clean that off too. Look at the barrel. Oh, it looks pretty clean. If you want to clean the barrel, I usually use uh, this type of cloth stick it up the barrel and use a rod but that's clean all right well if everything's clean you're gonna use some oil like that all right always want to do that on here a little bit that's pretty much a lot <laughs> Alrighty, put this back on. Um, yeah, this way. There you go. Put the spring back. Tiny piece of spring. There you go. All right. Now we want to put some lube over here. Like that. I like that. I usually use my fingers for this. Some people can use a Q-tip or something. All right, that's good enough. Gotta put it back together, I guess. You get the slide piece again. Put that in first. I think it's the other way around, isn't it? 
this. Yeah, it's like that. Okay. You get the spring over the, the, the nozzle. Um, I'm not sure if you'll want to put this back and then this. Yeah, probably. With the old version, it was the other way around. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Same time you, you slide back your your um, your sight. Put the screw back in. And screw it tight, but not too tight. You don't want to break anything. All right. I'm always gonna put a little bit here on the top too. Just all your moving parts, basically. Always want to have to put a little bit in here. Come on, there you go. Little drop. Alrighty. Good enough. Now we put some oil here because that's a moving part too. Your barrel here moves in here. So uh, I like to do that always as well. Well, we put the barrel back in. We put this piece of plastic back in. This piece of plastic. And put the spring back in. As you can see, it doesn't go back all the way. So what I do is just turn it. There you go. And now it's in. All right, the slide is done. I'm gonna clean this one. I usually do it like this. I don't want to break it all apart because it's a help for me at least to put it all back together. I want to clean this part too. There you go. Clean enough. Put some oil here too. Not too much, not too little. Just enough like that. Well, then we're done. All the moving parts has been oiled and greased. You put it back together. You, you get some uh, some grease here on your barrel. You can always remove that. Oops. go see if it fires let me put a BB in here because you don't want to dry fire it give me a second I'll be right back all right got my BBs here we also gonna clean the magazine all right that all works pretty good usually I just Put some grease in here, just a little bit, I just want to get it in the middle, come on, there you go, just a little bit in the middle, other than that, you want to put a little bit on the, uh, on the rubbers, this one, this mag is still clean, so I'm not going to do that, if you have any questions, any issues, let me know, I will try to assist you with your problems. Till next time.